Are our theoretical models wrong, or is it the universe itself? The answer seems obvious now. The James Webb Telescope has recorded a series of mysterious discoveries that directly contradict conventional cosmology. But what revolutionary knowledge can we derive from these impossible structures? Are our assumptions about the age and origin of the cosmos still tenable? Or must we admit that we've been on the wrong astronomical path for decades? Join us on this cosmic journey as the James Webb Telescope observes the first object beyond the Dark Ages, revealing findings that astonished everyone. The exploration of the universe is constantly evolving, and this change has led to many fascinating developments over time. Consider the worldview of our distant ancestors, who firmly believed that the Earth was the center of the universe, with all celestial bodies revolving around it. Well, it's possible to be wrong. Today, of course, we know that our planet is just a tiny piece in a vast, intricate puzzle, one we have only begun to decipher. Yet it seems that every new discovery must overcome a few significant hurdles. Take an example. Although Edwin Hubble recognized that nearly all observed galaxies were moving away from us, Albert Einstein was so committed to his belief in a static universe that he introduced the cosmological constant into his field equations. In hindsight, Einstein would later call this his greatest blunder, realizing that the galaxy movements identified by Hubble were connected to the relentless expansion of the universe. According to our current understanding, this expansion process began around 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. Contrary to early beliefs, the Big Bang was not a massive explosion into existing space, but the rapid expansion of space itself. Matter and time emerged from a hot, dense singularity. But how can we know this? By looking back at the development of the universe and calculating a point where matter and energy become infinitely dense and spatial distances become zero. One of the key pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory is the detection of cosmic microwave background radiation, a relic from shortly after the universe's creation. This radiation is nearly isotropic and fills the entire cosmos. But what happens when new discoveries challenge the Big Bang theory? The consensus among cosmologists is that the first stars formed 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, and that the earliest galaxies were relatively small. There simply wasn't enough matter at that time to form large galaxies. At least, that's what theory tells us. However, the James Webb Telescope recently detected something that shouldn't exist. Impossible galaxies. Astrophysicist Ivo Labe and his team at Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne analyzed images from the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, in the early release program of the James Webb Telescope. These images captured a portion of the sky near the Big Dipper, known to represent the universe's early days. Labe described the moment of discovery. I ran the analysis software, and it gave me two numbers. Distance, 13.1 billion years, and mass, 100 billion stars. I nearly spit out my coffee. We had just discovered the impossible, massive galaxies, impossibly early. The term impossible is fitting. To explain these galaxies' existence, the density of matter in the young universe would have to be two to five times greater than our models suggest, or these galaxies formed in a completely unknown way. Either scenario requires a radical revision of our understanding of the cosmos. Scientists are still grappling with how to explain this unexpected discovery. What is certain is that 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, there were already six galaxies with star masses of 10 billion, and in one case, 100 billion, similar to the Milky Way today. These objects, referred to as universe breakers by the research group, challenge long-held assumptions, indicating star masses in this early phase of the universe are up to 100 times greater than previous models predicted. Until now, cosmology assumed that galaxies started as small clouds of stars and dust, gradually growing over time. But could there be another way? This discovery deepens the mystery and the next breakthrough by the James Webb Telescope proves just how crucial these findings are. The $10 billion telescope recently identified another record holder, adding yet another enigma to our star charts. Researchers at the Scuola Normale Superiore in Pisa discovered Jade's GSZ-140, the oldest known galaxy. Formed 290 million years after the universe's birth, this galaxy took around 100 million years to reach its observed size. 
Speaking of size, in this case, too, the researchers were not confronted with the faint baby galaxy that our current models predict, but rather with a structure that already contained several hundred million solar masses of stars. Once again, the question arises, how could this have happened in the early phase of the universe? How could such a bright and massive galaxy have formed in less than 300 million years? And why did further analysis show that the spectrum contained oxygen as well as hydrogen emission lines? This fact indicates that several very massive generations of stars had already completed their life cycle before the experts examined this galaxy. Well, questions upon questions. But are there any answers? In light of the discoveries presented so far, one might think that each new web discovery only deepens astronomers' scientific crisis of understanding. But that's not the case. Fortunately, there are some revealing answers. How did light emerge in the early universe? Around 38,000 years after the Big Bang, during the so-called Dark Ages, there were no galaxies, no stars, and therefore no sources of light. The transparent, neutral space was filled with a dense fog of hydrogen gas. Around 100 million years later, reionization began, in which the hydrogen became ionized and translucent again a process made possible by the first very energetic stars that knocked electrons out of the hydrogen atoms. But this is where it gets tricky. The question of where the photons that made the cosmos shine came from has been hotly debated for decades. Some theories suggested the influence of black holes, but now Webb has lifted the cosmic veil and offered a glimpse behind the origin of light. Specifically, an international research team has discovered that small dwarf galaxies most likely produced vast amounts of high-energy radiation. The researchers uncovered this astronomical clue as part of the Uncover program, which used Webb's near-spec and near-cam instruments. However, making the light from such distant galaxies visible sometimes requires a clever trick, the gravitational lens effect. The gravitational lens effect refers to the deflection of light by large masses. Essentially, light from a distant source is influenced by an object in front of it, which acts as a gravitational lens. The closer the light rays pass to the mass, the more they are deflected toward it. In the discovery mentioned earlier, eight faint galaxies became visible through the lens of the galaxy cluster Abel 2744, which normally eludes our earthly observations. These structures are around 100 times less luminous than the Milky Way. Yet spectroscopic analysis revealed they emit four times more radiation than previously assumed. Consequently, astronomers were relieved to announce that they had finally traced the mysterious photon source that once illuminated the cosmos. But to be clear, these eight small galaxies did not ionize the universe 500 to 900 million years after the Big Bang and make it translucent again. They are representative proxies. Low-mass cosmic powerhouses like these were common enough in the early universe to collectively change its state, and fortunately for us, change our understanding of it. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.